Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, you are going to learn about how to replace all occurrence of a string with another string. As we know, Python is the most powerful programming language for data manipulation, data analysis, and data science. As a data scientist, you, you work on data manipulation. So uh, replacing a string with another string is one of the data manipulation parts. And we are going to talk about how we are going to replace the occurrence of uh, a substring with another substring in the a string. Because when you talk about a string, our data is in the form of strings. So a string is a group of characters that may be used to represent a single word or an entire phrase. In Python, string is not require explicit declaration and may be defined with or without a specifier. Therefore, it is easy to use them. Python has various built-in functions and methods for manipulating and accessing strings. Because everything in Python is an object and a string is an object of the string class, which has several methods. So a string manipulation, there are a lot of uh, string manipulation methods in Python. So uh, one of the string manipulation methods uh, in Python is replacing a string, the occurrence of a string with another string. That is one of the string manipulation. So uh, on this uh, uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you two different methods to replace a string with another string. The first method is using replace method. This is one of the most powerful and most commonly used method to replace character or letter or a string with uh, another string in the string. Uh, so, this, so this replace method of a string class accepts a string values as input and returns the modified string as output. This string method has three parameters and uh, the two parameters are mandatory and uh, the other one parameter is optional. The string, uh, this is the general syntax to replace uh, the substrings with another substring in the string. That is uh, a string dot replace method. Uh, this replace method takes three parameters uh, the old value, the old substring that going to be replaced with the new uh, value or substring. Count is uh, optional parameter. It depends we may use or not. So the old value is the substring that you want to replace with the new string. And the new value is this represents the substring with which you want to replace uh, to the old string the old substring. The count is an optional parameter. It is used to specify the number of all the values you want to replace with new values. So it counts the occurrence of the substring in the string. And when you specify the count, uh, it depends on the number of occurrences. So uh, if you put, uh, for example, if the occurrence of the, the substring is uh, three, and if you put, the count two, so it's gonna be replaced uh, two occurrence of the substring with the new string, and uh, it left us the other one occurrence. So let's try to see an example to uh, get understand about how to replace the uh, string with another string. Okay, here, uh, as you can see here. And this uh, program, I'm taking an, an input string that is welcome to a Python lab, and it's gonna be printed out without replacing any uh, strings, any substrings or characters or letters. But in this in this example, I'm gonna replace a letter T with D in the string. Then after replacing, let's try to see the output that is 
uh, string dot replace method, the old string that cannot be replaced by the new string substring is the character that gonna be replaced is T and uh, it's gonna be replaced by D. So here uh, I, I, I'm not replaced specifying the count parameter. So all the occurrences of the character T in the string gonna be replaced by the character or letter D. Okay, let's try to switch the output. As you can see here, the outputs uh, before will come to Python lab after uh, replacing the, uh, the character T with D, uh, all the occurrence of T gonna be replaced by uh, D, the character or letter D. So for example, two here, T is replaced. Now it is Do and so on. The second example I wanna show you is uh, a replace with count parameter. For example, if you wanna re uh, specify the count, uh, so, uh, so it depends on the uh, number of occurrences we specify in the function replace. So for example, in this example, I wanna replace the letter O with D, the occurrence of uh, two occurrence of uh, letter O with D. So for example, you can simply count manually the occurrence of O, for example, one, two, three, but I wanna replace the first uh, two occurrence of the letter O with D. So I specify the uh, count parameter uh, uh, in this function. So replace the old uh, letter or substring in the string and the new substring that is D, and the first uh, two occurrence of the all character or letter gonna be replaced by the letter or character D. So this is the count. So uh, in this case, not all occurrence of the letter gonna be replaced, but the first two occurrence of the letter gonna be replaced sequentially. It's gonna be replaced sequentially. So this is another uh, example. So this replace function takes three parameters. The first two param uh, parameters are uh, mandatory. So because uh, the first parameter is uh, to uh, the sub contains the substring that's gonna be replaced. And the second parameter is the new uh, parameter that's gonna be replaced by the old uh, uh, substring in the string. And the third is optional, it depends, it is up to you. If you wanna replace uh, some occurrence of the letter or character or substring, you can specify the count uh, parameter in this function. Okay, uh, so in this case, uh, the first two, for example, uh, O. Here we have three uh, occurrence of O character in this string, but the first two uh, are replaced by D and uh, the others are not replaced because we have specified, I have specified the count uh, parameter in this function. Okay, this is one of the most powerful and commonly used uh, method to replace uh, characters, the occurrence of the string in the uh, string. The other most important method I wanna show you here is uh, a regular expression. Uh, you can also use Python regular expressions to replace all occurrence of a string with another string. So in this regular expression, there is the most powerful uh, method that is uh, used to replace, uh, that is called sub. The sub method of the Python regular expression already replaces an existing letter in the given string with a new string. So this is the general syntax that gonna uh, replace the string, the substring with this another string in the answering. But this is uh, a little bit different from the replace method. So here there is a module uh, uh, we, we, we wanna uh, import to replace a string that is RE, a regular expression, but uh, this replacement is a built-in uh, method. Uh, so it is 
uh, when you install Python, it is available because it is one of the Python string manipulation method. So it is. Uh, so this takes re.sub sub method, the sub method takes three parameters, the old parameter, the new parameter, and the string. The string is the source of the string. The, the old represents the substring that you wanna repress. And the new uh, is uh, the substring, the new is the substring with uh, which you wanna repress to the old rep, uh, string. And the string is the source of the string that's gonna be rep, uh, replaced the substring by new string. Okay, let's try to show an example. For example, in this example, I wanna replace the letter T in the string with another uh, uh, letter uh, D. So first of all, you have to import the regular expression RE. And here I have defined the string, welcome to Python lab and the variable string. And I wanna print out the string without replacing any characters or letters with another substring. Okay, then uh, I call re.sub. This sub method uh, takes three parameters, the old string that's gonna be replaced by the new string, that is uh, D, the letter T is already occurred in the string, and it's gonna, it gonna, it going to be, it going to be replaced by the letter D. And this uh, represents the source of the string, which the variable which contains the source of the string, which is, will come to, the Python lab. So uh, all the occurrence of the characters or letters in the string uh, gonna be replaced by the new substring. So we can uh, see that we'll come to Python lab, then after replacing all occurrence of T by D, uh, it's gonna be look like this. So this is the second method. So you, you, can, you can use one of the two methods, but uh, I, I, I personally recommend that you use the first method that is because of it is uh, not required to import any libraries or modules. Uh, it is a built-in method that's uh, used to uh, manipulate uh, strings in the Python program. So this is today's lesson. And uh, if you like or enjoyed in this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. And also you can uh, send us a thanks gift. You can also uh, join us in membership to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today.